Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. It's Erica here for Ink on 3. Today I'm going to be having a little play with the re-inkers for the Atelier inks that's just been released. If you wanted to have a look at the actual ink pads and how I made the swatches that I'm showing in the video now, there is another video on my channel. So finish watching this one first, pretty please, and then go back and look at the other list. I think it's the one or second newest video so it's right there at the top anyway now the video for today what i'm going to be doing is some watercoloring and the re-inkers are and the ink pads themselves of course as well uh, work really really well for that you can see just how yummy and creamy they are on the, the samples here so the cards i'm making today are a slightly different size to what i usually do these are six and a half by three and a half inches. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this is because I kind of wanted to make a, not a proper slimline card, but a longer one so I could just really show the colors really well. And I have dropped a little bit of ink, or re -inka, in each one of these little pots. And uh, with a big wide paintbrush, I am going to just prep my panel which I taped down to my work mat with some purple tape. Just get it nice and wet so that the colors will just kind of swirl around and do their magic. Then I am with another paintbrush. I am using a, a paintbrush for each different color to make sure I avoid color contamination. And look at that. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I love this. Um, my paintbrushes here were being a little bit naughty so they were rolling around all over the place so if you want to make sure they don't splatter and contaminate your colors it might be a good idea to actually have like a little cup for each one of the paintbrushes instead of just kind of hoping that they're gonna behave but anyway so here we are we're moving on to the next color so we're going from blue to green and then we're gonna do yellow orange and red so I'm only using five colors today but just wait till you see they just, they're so fun to play with and so vibrant, like really, really vibrant. You only need a little, really. I mean, I kind of went overboard here, but I'm gonna save the leftover inks and just go back and like make them wet again next time I need to watercolor. And this little clip is done in real time. So there's no speeding up or, or slowing down. Although why would I slow it down? I don't know. Um, so, but the next two, because I'm making three in total, are going to be speed lapses. Or well, time lapses. I never get that right. Oh well, there you go. You know what I mean. The faster ones anyway. Uh, so here we are with the last color. with the Marilyn Red, which goes into like an incredible like fuchsia hot pink color when you dilute the color. It just looks stunning. Right, so here we are, we're off on our time lapse. And this is the first one of the two um, of the time lapses. And I try to make like a lemony green there on the end. And this one was a bit of an experiment and I was kind of looking at it as I was uh, playing along and I thought, oh, I'm not sure I'm going to like this one. But this one, when it was dry, turned out to be my favorite. So this is the first one uh, out of all three. And you can see it's just dried, like beautiful. The colors kind of blend in, but don't make like a murky, browny, muddy color. And there's the second one. And this, look at this one. This is the one that I thought wasn't gonna turn out very well, but I love those bits there. Right, to finish these cards off, I decided to use the Thanks from the Pumpkin Patch Coordinating Die Cut System. Now, I didn't actually, I uh, haven't used this before, I don't think, so I haven't cut it out properly, but because I was gonna cut this out and using this directly onto my card panels, I wanted to make sure that the little sticky outfits were completely gone so they don't leave those like ugly imprints because I just want the actual cut. And there's the first one. And for my second one, I decided to use cardstock in similar colors to the actual panels. 
and ladies up. And you might think, oh, that's kind of bonkers because it's not going to show. But it will! So with the five colors all added together, I then also added a matte or satin black on the top. And when you look from the side, you can see the colors. So it's not super obvious, but it's just one of those nice little things to kind of see when you're getting the card. And the last one I cut out. Oh no, sorry, this is the first one that I cut out. So I've added white under just to kind of make them stand up a little bit. And uh, then I had to fill in the little gap in the A because I did lose the little piece there. And the final flourish was to just add some liquid pixie dust to make them sparkle. And my fairy panel got thanks added in gold and shadows of a gray, which I thought was just the nice sort of touch because black was just a little bit too harsh for that. And as I was looking at this, I thought, ah, T. Hanks for Tom Hanks is one of my favorite actors. I was having a little giggle to myself there because I am a nerd. But anyway, on with the, uh, the card making. So with all those glued down and added to card bases, the cards are done. And with the liquid pixie dust dry, that shimmer is off the charts. And look at that. I think the gray was a good call because... I didn't want something that looked too sort of harsh and here it works because it's got the rainbow colors underneath and it's not quite focusing but I will show you pictures later instead but these this is a really fun way to do cards and I actually made all these cards with a little bit of help from my heat gun to dry the colors in less than an hour so that's it and they are so colorful and impactful Look at the shimmer, isn't that gorgeous? And it's such a tiny little thing, but it just makes such a boom, look at me. And there you can see the rainbows. I think that worked out really, really fun. I will link all the products I've used in the descriptions below with affiliate links. Thank you so much for using these when you shop. They help me keep my little blog and YouTube uh, running, keeping the content fresh. Of course, they don't cost you anything at all. And don't forget to give me a little thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for more funness.